Okay, we are on to the reports in Salesforce that we need to do this. So uh, we're, I'm going to create one with you and uh, you'll create, you'll need to create a total of six reports for your first touch and last touch. So there's going to be three, at least the way that we've got the sh sheet built. <laughs> You've got your generated opportunities, your qualified opportunities, and then your closed one opportunities. I think that's a pretty standard easy way to start viewing your uh, funnel so you do those three stages for your original and then the others for just your lead source which is we can also say is your opportunity source it's the source right before you create it all right so we'll let we'll create one report the rest will be they'll be very similar in nature and i'll go through the differences so let's go ahead and create a new report we are just just going to need opportunity reports today so i'm going to search opportunities at least for this, we're just going to need opportunities. All right. So there's my default view that I run into. It's not exactly set up the way I need it. So in the template, I've shown you what you need in which columns. So the key fields that you need are your amount and then your date field, which varies for each one. Okay. You'll need a date field of some kind to to essentially stamp when they were generated, when they were qualified, and when they were closed. Now, depending on your sales cycle, the generated date and the qualified date could very well be the same thing or like just a days apart in our case. And that's our case. Um, and I'll walk through what you would do with that. So we're going to start by creating this generated opportunities report for the lead source original. So on our sheet here, that's number one. So all of these number ones here are lead source original. So what we wanna do is first match up our columns. So you can look at the key columns are here, but if you wanna match up all of the columns, I would go to the report. So it looks like we've got opportunity name. So account name, opportunity name, and stage. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, I don't have owner role or owner opportunity. So account name, opportunity name, and stage, great. Then amount and probability. So we'll get rid of fiscal period. There's amount. We'll get ex rid of expected revenue and probability. Create a date, next step, and type. So we'll get rid of age. We've got create a date, next step, and type. Now, the important thing in the report is that the date, like I said, the amount and the date fields line up. So the amount field needs to be in column D, the fourth one, which it is. And then the date field in column F, which is what we have. If you choose to add additional fields in the report that you want, that's totally fine. It shouldn't break anything. You'll just need those two lined up. You could even change the order of these other ones. Um, I like to try and keep it what we built here, just when you're first building, so you know it exactly lines up. All right, so we've got our columns, but now we need the right filters. So since this is based on our lead source original and we want it to just be marketing sources we need a filter for that so from let's start with our date we don't want the closed date we want the created date so the opportunity created date and uh, we want to populate a good amount of data in here so we're going to go the current and last fiscal year previous fiscal year <clears throat> Uh, we want all probabilities and all opportunity statuses because we want everything that's been created from a marketing source. So we're going to add one filter where the lead source original contains, and then we want to put all of our um, sources in here. Okay, so in our instance, the only marketing source is web, and yours is probably going to be more. <clears throat> All right, so uh, you can see that filtered it down and we will save and run it. So we've got ops generated marketing original. You can name it whatever you need to name it for your naming conventions. All right, so there we go. That would be our report for number one, the generated marketing sourced original generated pipeline okay 
All right, so what would it look like if we want to do the qualified report? I'm just going to go back and edit what we've already built, and then I can save a new one. So for qualified, there's lots of ways you can do this. Typically, you'll have your sales reps fill out some kind of form, or maybe it's when they reach a certain stage and you'll automate a field um, being populated, uh, which is probably my more favorite way. Um, but since our opportunity created date and our qualified date happen so quickly, we only look at the created date of the opportunity still. So our date is still the created date, but we add a filter of opportunity AE qualified. It's got to be true. Okay. Now you might have just like an AE qualified and it's a date stamp. And in that case, you would um, just make sure that the date field is filled out. So I'm going to uh, save as, and instead of ops generated, it's going to be ops qualified, original, okay. All right, so I've got that. I could run it and get, uh, get the report. For closed one, we would switch it up a little bit. Now the date that we want is not the created date. We want the closed date. And we want the opportunity status to be closed one. Okay. And then I can get rid of probably this AE qualified if maybe you've got it in a manual process and it's not as totally accurate. But all one deal should be qualified. So I'll just leave it. And those are all the changes I would need to make for the closed one. So I'm going to make uh, another copy. Save as. So ops. Closed one, marketing original saved. All right, so I've built those three reports. Those reports would be the number one generated, number one qualified, and number one closed one. And we'll go through the extension and bring them in uh, in a later video.